everyone. Today I'm going to show you a scrappy strip technique but with just three scrappy strips which are the same size. So these, each of these pieces is one and a half by three and a half. You need to have a long post-it note and I'm going to put the middle one in first and then I'm going to put one exactly beside it and then one on the other side. So these colours are soft sea foam Sahara sand and this one is mint macaron. So I'm going to be using the Forever Fern stamp set which is absolutely lovely. These distinctive stamps stamp up really well and I'm going to end up with a card like this but in different colours. So this is with the prized peony stamp set and the sentiment is from Very Versailles and I've used the tin tile embossing folder to emboss it before I've stuck it down to the card base which is Highland Heather. So here's my base that I'm going to stamp on and I'm going to start, start off first of all with the biggest stamp which is this one and I just want to make sure that it's inked up properly and I'm just going to stamp that like that. I haven't got any preconceived plan for this so we'll just have to see how it turns out and I'm just going to do a little bit up there. And then the next one, and that was uh, Shaded Spruce, the next one is going to be with Pear Pizzazz. And probably do one there. And perhaps I'll do a fourth one because again we're going with odd numbers. There we go. And then the last one, I'm going to take this rather nice sort of little berry stamp and I'm going to stamp one th this one with Mint Macaron. just another one up here I think just a little bit it's good to always stamp off a little bit as well and then I'm just going to take this lovely little spotty background stamp that comes with the set and I'm going to just use this in crumb cake just for a little bit of accent here and there again I haven't pre-planned this this is just how amazing the set is you can just take it and have fun with it and it really gets you some good results there we go I'm happy with that so now I'm going to get my, I'm going to turn that over because it's got a bit of ink on it. And now I'm going to take, I've already prepared my card base. So what I do is get my trusted Tombow. And I'm going to stick this one on first and then that one and then that one. Um, I'm just going to put some Tombow on the base. And Tombow does allow you a little bit of wiggle room, so if I'm quick I should be able to adjust if necessary. But hopefully I can eyeball it successfully and it'll look alright. Here's hoping. Um, not quite, so I'm just going to quickly pull that up. This is what I mean about wiggle room. And I'm going to put that one down there. Probably haven't left myself much wiggle room for this one. Just, just, just going to get away with that, I think. Wow, that was close. So there we are. There's the background for you. And I've cheated a bit because I've already um, prepared the sentiment. This is from Positive Thoughts. Really, really nice sentiment. And I'm just going to take that and then decide where I want it. Well, probably I'll just put it in the centre like that. And then it probably needs a little bit of bling somewhere. I haven't really prepared for this, but I'm just going to get my box of tricks, as it were. And I happen to have some retired little green gems here. You know me, all my ladies know me. I love gems. So you've got to have a bit of sparkle somewhere and it's got to be three or five and I think that that will be absolutely fine. So there's a very simple card, uh, sending positive thoughts and feel good wishes. The only extra thing I might add to it is get out my trusted Wink of Stella and perhaps just highlight some of the leaves with some Wink of Stella and you'll see that it's actually picking up some of the ink and blending it in to make the colour there as I do that. So I'll probably just colour in this one as well a little bit. Like that. And then I'll obviously have to do this one as well to match in. But it just gives it a little bit of shine, a little bit of sparkle, just stands it out from the ordinary. 
And that's what makes a difference to a car. And this is what Stamping Up is so good at with our embellishments, our ribbon, our wink of Stella, our shimmer paint, all these lovely extra bits that make such a difference to a card. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of sparkle there. You might just be able to see that. So there's my finished card. So I hope you've enjoyed that today. I'll just show you the original one, which was done with prized peony. Totally different. Um, that one's more a feminine card, I think, with those colours. And this is more for a man. So that would be a really good sentiment and card to send to somebody. Hope you've enjoyed today. So uh, see you again soon. Bye.